In order to join the section of the abs down into the pelvic region, we need to actually complete a bit more of the geometry underneath the body. So we're gonna select along this center line. So between using Control and Shift, and then Alt, I can actually grab all those edges pretty quickly. Much nicer than grabbing them one by one. So I'm gonna use Make Planar X, which is gonna put them all on one straight line along this X axis. Then, we can actually use, on our X movement, we can zero that, so we know what's in the very center of the mesh. So that's gonna be helpful, but we do also wanna make sure here at this point, we need to be a bit farther back along the center of the spine. Right in here, we're gonna be a bit more inside the mesh. Yeah, that's pretty close to where we want it. So that flow is gonna be a bit better. But now what we wanna do, we wanna actually take this edge right here, and it's gonna actually bridge all the way down around the underside of the body right back up into this edge, this edge, in the center of the sternum. But right now, this edge and this side of this line is not really where we want it. So we're gonna shift select that edge right there. We're gonna also hit make planar X. And then we're gonna shift drag that over one more. Now that we wanna put into the center. And then pull it back in just a little. So we want that to be deeper inside the chest. That's not gonna work. We want that to be a bit deeper in the middle of the chest. So we'll move a bit of the geometry in our pec muscle away from that center line a little bit. So we can bring that back into the center of the mesh a bit more. All right, so now we'll open this up a bit. And we'll smooth this out a little more. All right, so once we're done kind of tweaking this, and really tweaking could take forever, we at some point have to just decide that we're going to be done with that then this edge right here is gonna be the one that joins all the way back around to this edge. So let's do that. Let's hit bridge. Now, bridge runs straight through the mesh right there. Well, for now, that actually isn't a bad thing. We're gonna need a bunch more segments in there, but for now, we're just gonna okay that. We're gonna grab the segment right there in the very center, and we're gonna drop it all the way down. Now, we know right now that that center line is actually perfectly flat all the way around the center of the body. That's exactly what we want. So we're gonna grab this vertex here, and we're gonna move it over until it's pretty well lined up with the inside of that thigh. So now we can grab the very core vertex, and we can bring these both down just a little bit more. Now again, what that's really allowing me to do is to have a bit of mesh that lines up with something in the core center of the body here. So we're gonna bring all this back in a little bit. We don't need quite so much surface detail there. But then we can start taking these sets of vertices and if we use connect, we can run connections through both of them. We'll okay it and then we can bring those down. All right, we're gonna to have to bring that into the center of the body. But we wanna make sure that we're not moving that very center line away from the center. So we can bring that forward and down, maybe back a little more. And start forming, basically, the groin. So from there, again, we grab these two edges. And now as we add connect, let's add a couple extra segments. So we've got enough geometry now that we can actually start rounding things out and actually being a bit more in control of where we want these pieces to go.
So we want a nice smooth transition around the body, but it's gonna help us kind of stay more in control of where things are going and flowing. So again, we'll come back to the back of the body, I'll grab these two, we'll add a few less segments. Let me just grab that edge and start bringing it out. And then looking for where we can make those connections. So as we bring this over and up, over, and actually that's probably pretty good right where that is. But we don't know quite yet whether or not we're just gonna be able to target weld in. So we need to continue to make some more refinements and a few more connections in here until we can do that. So here for this one, if we basically want these two vertices to connect, we need two more segments in here. So as you add the connect, we get two edges. Then I can just take and we'll target weld the vertices over. So now that's gonna start helping me to define that kind of inner center line of the body without really making it too much work. So we add a single segment here, and again, we target weld. So now I've got two segments across here and not as many here. All right, so these two edges, we're gonna need one, one, two, three. So we'll need two segments, but then I'm going to have to bridge from here to here. All right, so I've got my six edges selected, then we can bridge with one extra segment in the center, and then we're going to check to make sure that we have welded vertices. Now, an easy thing we can do to check for whether or not those vertices are welded is turn on Turbo Smooth. And then we'll see where or if we have any disconnected vertices anywhere. And then we can also start to look at being able to round out that mesh a little bit more and make it so that our center line connects nicely. So there are definitely times where when we start looking at Turbo Smooth, we're going to end up with mesh that seems to kind of jut out in areas where it really doesn't seem like it should need to. But as we connect things together, we'll find out whether or not that's actually going to be the case. So now we're going to take these two edges right here. We're going to add a single connection in between. And then I'm going to take and just target weld this vertex to here. Now, what that's going to do is allow me to basically get rid of this extra polyline that's flowing through here. Because as I go to border and select this, and because I don't have it connected there, we'll go back to edge, remove all of that. Make sure I don't have anything else selected over here. And then since I have just those four edges selected now, I can go back to border and cap. All right, and so what that did is allow me to now go ahead and start target welding areas where the mesh is actually very close together and I don't need all that extra geometry. So we've actually got a pretty good connection here at the back of the body. And next, we'll actually move on to figure out how to get that connection through the ab muscles as well. Let's actually smooth that out a bit more. But I want to make sure that I'm not actually affecting that center line of the mesh in any way. So I'm just trying to move things around and smooth it all out and bring things relatively close together here, but not move the center line on the x axis at all. So here we can bring this back toward the back of the body a bit more. We've got a bit of a caved in area here that's really not gonna work. That's a bit better, a little bit smoother, a little bit rounder. 
All right, I think that's going to help. I think the flow here is quite a bit better. So there we should be increasing the feeling of the overlap in the mesh without doing too much. But we definitely want to make it feel like there's volume and roundness to the body. So that should actually work out pretty well. Let's check right in here. I think we've got to bring this out a bit more. Bring it into that center line a little bit more. And again, we're always trying to watch for the flow through the geometry to make sure that we have everything as smooth as possible. There's not too many square corners on the body itself, so we want to make sure there really aren't any square corners in our mesh. If we turn on ignore back face and when I select through here, I can't pick anything on the other side of the mesh inadvertently. Make sure nothing got mixed up over there when I did move that vertex. All right, let's take a look. Now the back of the body actually works pretty well. The flow around that cheek works pretty nicely. All right, so it does actually feel like there's muscle connection and muscle flow overlap. I think that's gonna work out pretty well. All right, so next we will actually work the front of the body, trying to get that abdomen region connected up. 